just pretend they're there. Yeah, do it. Posture is a simple way to affect your self-confidence, your self-esteem, and your health. This is relevant to you because 31 million Americans are experiencing lower back pain at any given time. We spend hours slaving away at our computer, hunched over, and this leads to bad posture. First, I will talk, well, today I will talk about the problems, the cause, some problems of bad posture, the causes, and some of the solutions. First, let's look at some of the problems. There are five problems that we will cover today. First is back pain. Back pain is the leading disability in all workforce currently. This is coming from a Global Burden of Disease article in 2013. Over half of the American workforce has admitted to having back problems. And that's coming from a medical abstract of B. Valors. Next, we'll look at the money spent on, on bad posture. Over $50 million are spent per year on simple back solutions. That's not including large surgeries or procedures. This is coming from a U.S. Department of Health Services. $50 million, that's quite a bit of money whenever you think about it, and that over simple solutions. Also, it is the most common reason for missed work, like I said. That's coming from an American Chiropractic Association article. So whether you're being paid workers' comp from your employer or just missing out on work, costing your company money, that's a lot of missed time and money spent on you that you're not being productive. Next, we will look at depression. From a San Francisco State University study, they had students either skip down hallways or walk slouched. The students that skipped showed that they had much more energy level and a lower rate of depression or feelings of depression. And the students who walked slouched had lower energy and reported uh, feelings of depression. Next problem we'll look at is digestion. Whenever you sit hunched over, everything, your rib cage compresses your internal organs and this causes a slower rate of flow through your body. The body is meant to have free flowing um, blood, organs, um, digestion, and whenever you sit hunched over, this causes a slower rate. And that was from a Stephen Winnegar of Body Zone article. And next, we'll look at stress. In a Harvard study done, they, they interviewed a group of males who took on a power position. And a power position is hands on the hips and acting as if you are in charge. These males that took on the power position had a 20% increase in testosterone and a 25% decrease in cortisol. Cortisol is a stress hormone that affects um, many, many aspects of your, your hormone levels and mostly stress. The men who did not take on this power position and were slouched with bad posture had a 10% decrease in testosterone and a 15% increase in cortisol. Now that we looked at some of the problems, let's take a look at some of the causes. Many day-to-day -day activities take, take their toll on your bad posture. One of these is the office chair hunch, as you see here. We spend quite a bit of time with technology hunched over, whether that's on our phone or typing at a desk, um, but these wear on you over time. Another cause of bad posture would be a lack of formal education. I had one time in my time in the public education system that my old school gym teacher said to stand up straight and showed us how to do it, and he was missing half a thumb, so I don't know if he was really qualified to be telling me anything. Another reason would be weak muscles. This is coming from a uh, Healthy Living article. It shows that it's a series of uh, links. It goes from neck to shoulder to abs, pelvis, hips, and legs. These all play a part in standing with good posture. So if you have a weak link in the chain, it could all unravel and lead to a falling 
a following series of uh, events that lead to bad posture. And then we have actual disorders as like scoliosis. Um, as you see here, these curved spines place a big um, disadvantage to people with bad posture. You really have to focus on your posture if you have an actual disorder and versus just laziness, if you will. Um, from a North American Spine Society article, they say that 3 to 5 percent of our nation's adolescents have scoliosis. So that's quite a bit of people, whenever you think about it, that need to focus even greater on their posture. Now that we've looked at some of the causes, let's look at some solutions. Posture is a very simple thing. It's a series of uh, links that chain together to make um, good, proper posture. It starts with the feet, works your way up to the hips, and then to your shoulders, and everything is under, underneath each other. So it starts from the ground up. If you look at it more in depth, it's a tightening of the abdomen while you fill the thoracic cavity, retract the shoulders, and then a little hunch in the lumbar of your back, which is the low, the small of your back. Um, also another thing to, another solution for good posture is to keep moving. It's suggested that you move around every 30 minutes so you don't get stuck in one spot. So keep moving and this will keep the body active and in good form. Some little tips to good posture is to associate good posture with a everyday event in your life. So every time you see a red light or hear a key word, you think, maybe my posture is not too bad, but every time you see that, you associate it and then correct it. Another tip would be to tie a string to a button and attach that to your belt buckle. So every time you're sitting, if it starts to, starts to sag, then you sit up straight and tighten that string again. So today, we have talked about some of the problems of bad posture, their causes, and some of the easy solutions. So just remember, posture is a very simple thing that can affect your confidence, self-esteem, and the way of life. Thank you.